Now, in the second part of the video, we are going to conduct a Marshall test with uh, again you test uh, multiplex device. We have a bra Marshall breaking head of four inch over here, and we have a uh, dummy specimen of Marshall over here. First of all, we are going to place this breaking head just upon the uh, pedestal, and then we are going to place. Marshall specimen, or specimen over here. And then we're going to arrange this distance so that this piston is just in contact with the mold and breaking head. Like that. And we are going to fix these nuts so that the cross head is in intact position. We are going to uh, set these set screws by using an Allen wrench. Now, in this part, we are going to fix these screws uh, screw as well, and it's ready for the test. Now, in the first part of the video, as you remember, we have conducted a CVR test, and this graph is. Uh, belong to that test. Now we are going to press this button to go to the uh, menu uh, selection page and here we are going to, uh, from the third button we, are going, we have CBR Marshall and Triaxial and now we are going to choose the second option Marshall. In the first uh, menu we have uh, type, since we, have four, we are using 4 inch specimen it's around uh, 101.6 millimeters and for, from here we are going to uh, insert thickness of this specimen which is uh, 63.5 and the correction factor is displayed as almost 1 and after that we are going to press this OK button so that the uh, input, uh, the parameters that has been set are recorded. In the second button we have test parameters this is in the first line there is a uh, test number, maximum uh, load, maximum displacement. These values are all set, can be changed according to the sensor or load cell that you are using. And we have a uh, failure threshold which is set as 3 kN and the uh, failure percentage. Here we have the important part is 15.8 mm per minute which is the Marshall speed. Uh, these are uh, related with the uh, axes or graph uh, axes. After setting these parameters, we are going to go to the uh, test screen and then we are going to make the uh, computer connection. And uh, just before making the connection, since we know there is uh, no load on it, we are going to tear the displacement and the load as well. Now we are going to uh, connect this, uh, as you, you may remember on the CBR, we have connected. Uh, the device with the computer. Now we are going to conduct uh, the test with the using again the same program but choosing the Marshall test. Again, we will write a name according to the sample you are using. You can make three samples in one program and you can take the uh, average of the readings. You can write some parameters like the importance of the height of the sample and they will be calculated automatically. Just like the other one, you will just press the play button and the test will start. Now we have ended the test and it is, uh, the peak point uh, of the Marshall has been recorded automatically in the software and the software is also uh, stopped the device so that the, uh, as you can see the specimen uh, is damaged and the test is finished. Okay. Uh, depending on the standards we have some calculations here. 
the maximum load, the corresponding stability, the flow, the tangent flow and the Marshall quotation will be calculated automatically and it will be reported with the program. After test is finished, again press return button to make the piston to the one position. After finishing this first test, you can remove the LBDT and the models. And this is how you conduct CBR and Marshall tests by using multiplex device. Thank you for watching.